quarterfinal baseball and the most compelling run this season comes from Allegheny. The Mountaineers are in their final season before the merger with Covington and I can't think of a better way to go out than with a state run like this. Allegheny hosting Marion State Class 2 baseball quarterfinals. Bottom of the third, Mountaineers up 6-0. Huge crowd on hand to watch this happen. Christopher Harden grounded to right field. Hunter DePriest come on down. And the Mountaineers were in control. Same inning, Elijah Weiss sending this one deep to right field. Now Harden is coming home, and the Mountaineers in total control. We'll head to the sixth, 10-1 Mountaineers. DePriest at bat, bases loaded. See ya! The final hit ever at Mountaineer Field is a grand slam. Allegheny 14-1 in six as they move to the Class 2 semis. It's just a testament to the hard work. We've had this group of guys playing together for about three years now, and they've, they've just buy into the work day in and day out. And everybody always talks about kind of the grind of things, and they come out every day and do a great job of executing what we ask them to do, and it's translated to the field this year. Indeed it has. Boys Lacrosse State semifinals. Glass and PH on the road. PH falls in overtime 12-11. And the girls semis. Rockbridge County falls at Western tonight. That score was 16 to 10. There it is. Class 2 softball. John Battle at James River. Legendary coach John Shotwell taking in the action. All of the Angela Tincher days. Austin Moran with a force in this circle again for the Knights. A few early K's. And how about the Knights putting something together in the fourth? Casey Kincaid single to center. Ripley Barry rips one off the Center field fence right there. Shotwell's happy with that one. Runners at second and third. Sydney Breeding hit one deep to left. Good enough for this sack fly. The Knights rally down two to one to win it three two in walk off fashion. James River moving on. All the scores rolling at the bottom of your screen as we move to girls soccer now and another program having a breakthrough season. William Bird soccer fueled by 11 seniors and a refuse to lose attitude coming off that region 3D title Bird hosting Charlottesville tonight and not many chances early for the Terriers. This is Claire Glover looking for a chip shot over the defense gathered up by the keeper Catherine Leonard. Meanwhile Charlottesville had a high octane attack and a first cello cross pass Margaret Vincel goes cross corner and it is one nothing Charlottesville shortly thereafter keeper Sophia Chrisley brushes aside a point blank shot but the ball not cleared physical play in front Kylie Jones finishes far corner two nothing Charlottesville had Molly Cox's bird team in a halftime hole second half more black Knights off the corner not cleared it's Kylie Jones again fires another one in three nothing Charlottesville is the final tonight. Boys class two quarterfinal Graham at Glenver. Fast start for the Highlanders just before halftime. Fernando Garcia Trolliano sending one in from distance. A few minutes later, it's Jackson Shepard settling the pass, sending it in. Seven nothing halftime lead for Glenver. They had more in the second. Colin Clapper sending it in. Wesley Feliciano does the rest with the knee for the goal. And Shepard would score another as Glenver rolled to a 9-0 victory to advance to the Class 2 semis. Graham plays really hard, and their intensity level is really high. And so I challenged our guys before the game, we got to match that or exceed that. And I think our guys did a good job of winning balls and keeping the ball on our end and getting the ball so we could move the ball. So they just did a, a great job of that and executing tonight. We had a tough loss at Graham two years ago. And for some of the guys on the team, they weren't even in high school yet. So a couple of seniors, it was pretty personal. And uh, they played a good game, but they're just too good for them.